What are you doing? I said, what do I do? You took it. What are you doing? I said, what do you do? I'm about to snap on my baby, y'all. She not this bent. Yeah, I'm freezing. Like, I'm really, really like, it's like 50 degrees today. It's like, why, Georgia? Why? Karma, Khalid. So today my boo visited me today. My boo, Dee Dee. She's supposed to come over tomorrow. Hopefully she does. Cause Dee Dee, I forgot to her. I was saying she gonna come see a bitch and never come. <laughs> but I love it, bro. So that's my boo. I don't feel like cooking today. Listen, like today's one of those days. Listen, I'm about to start buying me some frozen dinners, like Viola type shits for like days like this. This is why I need to deep freeze a bit. Like for days like this. Oh, maybe I could put cauliflower in it. We can think about it. So I'm making some pasta, some easy peasy, like. And like at my household, listen, we have to eat veggies. Like whatever I make, my kind of, you know what? My mother-in-law got me into that. You got peeping in the potty? Come on. But my mother-in-law got me like that. Like whatever we eat, like when she, <laughs> let me tell my mother-in-law, she throw it out. Come on. Like, my mother in got me like, oh, this room is, this, oh, so fucking toasty in here. It feels so damn good. Listen, babe, I'm sorry. I'm about to put the e heater on. That bill, gonna, listen, you're going to be having a heater bill before it's fucking winter. It's like, I don't understand. Like, why is it raining? I mean, I get why it's raining this fucking spring, but why is it, why is it cold? Like, in, in, like, I mean, it does get cooler in Miami when it rains, but... Not down to the 50s, bitch. I woke up this morning. I was like, 47. I was like, bitch, what? I went right back to sleep. Listen, I've been trying. Listen. You peepee. You peepee. You peepee. You peepee. You peepee. You peepee. All right, I'm going to go wipe some home. My baby flush the toilet. It's so funny. She flush it and run. Like the sound of it scares the shit out of her. Like, increase her out. It's weird. But anyways, like, I don't know what's so fucking cold, bruh. <laughs> listen i'm sorry like y'all i haven't been vlogging like listen like the movie finally hit my ass like i thought i was gonna be good but this shit's finally hitting me like bruh it's, it's starting to hit me a little bit just a little bit what you want to wear your pumpkin bag what bag Okay. Really? The water went. Okay, that's it. Okay, Karma. Bless you. So I'm making pasta today. Listen. I don't feel like cooking nothing. Like, I really don't. It's like, it's been bad. Like, it's been really, really bad, y'all. Like, like, it's been bad. Why? I don't know. Like sometimes, I don't know. I mean, I took some drunk of Hennessy, so it's probably why. I don't know. My camera looked like it was moving slow. Okay, but anyways, like I was trying to say, like I've been like I got into one of my old hobbies, and I'm kind of proud of myself because it's reading it and it's kind of good. But whenever I right i could never come up with the title like i could never come with title so i've been doing good with um titles for my chapters so far my chapter two so what you trying to get i'm gonna try to see my baby 
What you trying to climb and get? <laughs> but, oh, I was trying to say in the bathroom before I got to this. All right, you're going to fall and hit your head. I don't got no car to take it to no hospital. <laughs> but, um, what I'm trying to say is, ah, put that back. Think you slick. Put the, Put the cotton candy back. Thank you. Oh, and this Cinco de Mayo. Hey, see, I wanted to, you know, bring out my inner Mexican. Cause listen, I love me some mojitos and some tacos. Could have made a taco night, but maybe next year. Maybe next year. I probably do all that next year. Cause with this pot. Squeeze me. Squeeze me. Stay with another day. So, whatever. But, I've been trying to put myself on a schedule. I want to say karma. But it's really myself. But I have issues, like, ever since that situation, I have issues falling asleep. Like, it's bad. Like, it's really, really bad. It's, it's bad. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's bad. So, like, my anxiety. I mean, I always had anxiety issues. Cause you know, yeah. going through shit as a kid. Oh y'all like my wash and go? Like I did like a curl type shit, whatever. But yes, yeah, so I've been writing this book, and I'm excited. I'm very very excited. Probably publish this one because I have wrote a book before in high school. I don't know if anybody wrote my read my book. Sorry, my bed just fell. My Kanaya book, yes. I, I remember for the most part what my book was about. Basically, I wrote, let me tell you how old this book is. This book, I made this book basically when Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, well, Pretty Ricky first came out because I was obsessed with them. And I got into writing because that's my scapegoat. Because, you know, as a kid, when you go through a traumatic situation, you find your scapegoat. And writing always been my scapegoat. So, and that's why when I was in college, my advisor told me I should have majored in English. Cause I'm really I'm really great writer. Do what I wanna be. Karma, stop throwing that. I gotta throw the fucking trash out some But it's so fucking cold. But anyways. So yeah, that that that's that's that. So I'm writing this new book. So y'all gonna bear me because like me vlogging and shit. And you would think I had to stay at home mom. You ain't got shit to do. Listen. What the fucking. Now if I stay at home mom with karma and daycare. Then I really have nothing to do. But listen. Am I baby super active? Well actually I'm in the process of looking for a daycare for her. I'm excited. But I know I'll cry more than she is. Because I know karma. When she gets comfortable with the people. And then she's going to have her little friends. She's going to leave me. I'm always gonna be a brat, a brat tip. Come on, stop making noise! <laughs> All right. But yeah, my boo can't have visited me, y'all. My DD. Listen, me, Dee Dee, I'm a type, okay, this is the type of person I am. Because I know some people I read it, watch, read this. Probably watch this and be like, bitch, I try to be your friend and whatnot. But there's a difference when you try to be my friend and understand the type of person I am. And I'm not saying, okay, I'm not selfish and say that my, you have to be my friend the way I want you to be to be friends with me. But listen. I'm gonna leave that. I'm the most. I don't know. I'm weird. Like, it's weird. Like, for you to be my friend, you have to be real like me to understand me. <laughs> like, cause I'm. I'm. No. But, anyways, like, I'm the most. Non clingy type of friend, I guess you could say. Like, I'm not clingy. But when I'm going through some shit, I expect you to be there. You feel me? Like, if I could call you and. If you can't answer the phone, at least text me like, bitch, what's up? Because I'm not a phone person. I hate, hate 
with a passion talking on the phone. But people are like, but y'all phone with your husband. My husband's a truck driver. When you think we're gonna get our me time? How you think we began our little freak on through the phone, bitch? Like, <laughs> and we started on the phone. So I don't know. My husband, I'm eight, eight, I don't know. It's different because you know that's my significant other. But I hate talking on the phone. I hate. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. With a passion. I hate. I hate it. Like unless we can talk, you know, keep a conversation going and an interesting conversation, not just like you talking and I'm sitting here listening. That's nothing I hate. If I sit and I try to talk and yo's cut me off and bitch, I'm not gonna talk to you because I like to talk. <laughs> so that's Didi and the mean Didi. She's one of my longest friends too. I me and her have been friends since we've been friends for seven years and we don't talk every day. We don't. We really don't. But when she going through some shit and she needs somebody to talk to, I'm there. When I'm going through my shit. And y'all thought I was lying. Look. I gave birth to a monkey, y'all. That was random. Don't mind me. I have a lot of hostility on my chest, I guess. That's what she wanted. Hey! I don't think I'm gonna buy you a stool. No, because you're gonna be doing that on the stool instead of doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm washing the dishes if y'all was wondering. Listen, I was. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna say I was going through it, but I didn't want to get out of my bed. Bitch. Like, it's cold, bitch. Like, my Miami body has to get used to this. And then when I talked to my mother in law, told her how cold it was, that ain't nothing. 50 degrees? This is under me. When it's 70, when it's 70 in Miami, I'm complaining. 20 more degrees under that? I'm dying. And this is springtime. It's fucking Cinco de Mayo. Oh shit, if I was. Damn. Shots in Miami right now. <laughs> Maybe next year it'll probably take. Depends. Because I'm trying to have a baby. Yes, y'all, I'm trying to have a baby. <laughs> We're trying to have a baby. <laughs> so if I do my calculations, if it's right. That I won't be in Miami for single the mayo. Mm -mm. Oh, bitch, I'll be just coming out of. Damn, no one's on. He's not going to do that. Damn, I might miss. Um, shit call. Carnival this. Oh, next year. Shit. What carnival's not going nowhere? So. And if anything, probably the year after. I go to turn that for my carnival. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I took a shot at Henny. Oh my god, I did the most nastiest thing ever. My husband made tea when he was here. And this in the fridge. Stop. Like we made it to a juice type shit. And I mixed my Henny with it. Like, really? Actually, you did a rookie ass move. You been drinking Henny for years, bitch. You been drinking Henny before everybody was all about the Henny. Henny thing can happen, bitch. I was. I could tolerate Henny so fucking good. Tell ya. Why did you put it in there? Like, I think karma. See, that's a good thing, cause I didn't have to breastfeed karma. So, my first Mother's Day, I went to a party. It was kind of a setup. But I ain't gonna say that. You know, I ain't gonna say nothing, cause I. Felt like it was a setup. You feel me? But the weed kept me calm. So I ain't worried about it. Cause weed keeps me calm. Listen. Ashley's crunk. Ash, I'm crunk. I'm cr Listen. This is not the reason why I, I want to plan my children. Cause I don't want an Aries child. Because listen, my baby already acts like me. She look like her daddy, but she crazy like her mama. I feel like if I have a child that's an Aries, it's, you need to come around and go get it. I feel like if I have an Aries child, like, I'm destined to have a mini-me. Like, bitch, like, no. Like, my little sisters, it's five of us. Three of us are Aries. So, I already know how that was like. Three of us are Aries. And they're, they're but it's funny because they're the two youngest ones. And they're crazy as hell. But the only thing is, I'm different. 
I'm 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 the different kind of crazy. I'm like if you read the Aries, like what Aries is about, you see my face right there. Hey, bitch. Keep playing. I'm sorry, y'all. My husband called me. So. Okay. So, anyways, like I was trying to say, my husband called me. But yeah, I'm like the most, like, unneedy. Like, I'm needy. It depends. Like, I could be needy, but I. I... Okay, this is how I am. It depends on me and relationship. Like me and Didi, well, I could go through my needy stages with her, and she go through her needy stages with me sometimes. And then we get into like, man, I talk to you in two months. Cut shit, like you feel me? And it's not because we don't love each other, and like I don't want to hear like, oh, because you guys are not true friends. That's not true. Like Didi, let me tell you, me and Didi are the same type of people. We. Like I'm, I'm a really friendly bitch. She's not really that friendly. <laughs> what is that? Come here, mommy can't see. You know, mommy's blind, girl. Come here. What did you try to eat? Let me see. I need some peanut butter. Come on, that's not peanut butter, girl. I keep interrupting my vlogs. And when he's at, got no damn signal. So. But, um, yeah, like, I, I don't have a needy relationship. Like, me and Didi, like, we understand each other. Like, we know. And that's, that's the type of friends I like. I love people that understand who the type of person you are. And they don't force you into, like, to be the type of friend they want you to be. You feel me? It's like, that shit is, like, for the birds. You feel me? Like if you're a, if you're a needy type of person and you want to be my friend, just know that I'm not good. Like I said, it depends because I did I did have a best friend. I mean, I guess it all changed after after that best friend. Cause I had a best friend. I'm not saying she's needy, but we were both needy. You feel me? Her ass was always at my house. I was always at her house, and like they were my baby's godmother. Like you know, we had that type of friendship. But you know, sometimes. Like, what's at the end of friend? End. Hey, it's, it's unfortunate, but hey, it's life. It is what it is. I'm not even mad about it. If y'all watching this, or if y'all know who... Because people know me. I'm not that friendly bitch, so I don't got that much best friends. I mean, I do got... Well, I do got a lot of... Not a lot of best friends. But everybody know who my best friends are. And if you were Ashley, the beginning Ashley... Like 18, fresh out of high school, actually. Y'all know who my best friend was. Because I was always with them, too. It was the, We were the three of me guys. So y'all know who I'm talking about. And it is what it is. I'm not even mad about the situation anymore. It is what it is. But it is what it is. I mean, I see what I did wrong in the whole situation. I don't know if they know what they did wrong. But come on, put that back. We all grown now. It is what it is. I don't know if we will ever have a friendship. It is what it is. I'm just putting out there. I ain't mad no more. <laughs> Whatever. But it's life. You know, shit happens. It's life. So, um, sorry, I'm washing dishes and waiting for this shit to defrost. I'm gonna be making something so simple, some pasta, chicken pasta. I might add some shrimp in it. Oh, so and corn, maybe cauliflower. I love, I love cauliflower because cauliflower is really broccoli. No, broccoli. Wait, broccoli is cauliflower. Broccoli is a hybrid. Move, mama. So, whatever. Karma. But yeah, that's my bitch, Dee Dee. I love her. Get off of that. Well, where are you touching that? I mean, water. Okay, you be alright. So, but yeah, these wanna. I don't have a lot of those, like best, like my 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 OG best friends. 
I think if I count, I think I can only count on one hand my OG best friends. And those are my best friends. Like, we never, like, and OG best friends, I mean, like, before my 20s. My best friends before my 20s. And they're still around. The number one. What? Your bicycle is in the living room. Go up front and go in the living room. That's where it is. But, um, I think my, the only, I think I only count in one hand for real. Stephanie, oh, no. Don't add that shit out. Oh, shit. I think the Hennessy still my sister. <laughs> I'm a little dry. But anyways, um, it's Jessica. I'm trying to say Jessica. Jessica, um, Dee Dee. Yo, if you're my OG friend, my best friend, and I didn't name you, don't feel bad. Don't cuss me out. Damn. I know the only two OG best friends I got. I met Dee Dee when I was 18. I met Jessica. Jessica, how old we were? 16? That's how, how old you are in 11th grade? I was in 11th grade, bitch. I think I was 16. 16, 17? Yeah, 16. Because you 16, turn 17. The senior 17, turn 18. Yeah, yeah, so I was 16. And we're. Bitch. Next year's gonna be your whole 10 years since we've been friends, bitch. Ah. Right? Or is it this? Yeah, next year. What are you doing? Get that from my butt, girl. So, I'm probably sleepy. Y'all, we gonna work on this. Listen, it's not my fault. It's because at night, what time is it? Oh, okay. It's the only me time I get. It's the only me time I get is at night. So when baby sleep, that's when I'm writing my book. I, well, I could have wrote my book today, but my boo visited me. But he's like, I'm really starting to think. What's my, how many OG friends I have that's still in contact with? My OG best friends. Because I think that's the only best friend I made at Marshalls. I mean, I made a lot of friends at Marshalls. Don't get me wrong. Now, we still, you know, I got them. On my Facebook, my Instagram. I got something on Snapchat. I got Didi on Snapchat. <laughs> in high school, I I think the only person I'm still like really in contact with is Jessica. Like that. Like I have everybody else from high school, but the only person that like this is how I, I place our friendship. If you could reach out to me without me always reaching out to you, Cinderella, you you found your Cinderella. Then I consider you as a friend. Because listen, I'm a badass texter. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm a texter, but I'm a badass texter sometimes. Yeah. I, I used to be better, but when you have a child sometimes, your whole world. Yes, baby. See how many she repeat herself? Again. Karma. Yes, I heard you. My baby, I don't know why she's a tape recorder. Like, this girl will repeat herself over and over again. And I, y'all heard me how many times I said yes, right? Okay. So like that, that's the reason why like, I'm, I'm a bad texter sometimes because I'm, you know, stay at home mom, you would think, oh bitch, you should be texting me every day. No, I think stay at home moms are one of the worst texters. <laughs> and we don't like talking on the phone. I don't know about all the other, other stay at home moms. Me, I don't like talking on the phone. Don't call me. Most likely, if I don't answer your phone, it's not like I'm going to do something. I just don't want to talk on the phone. I'm sorry. Don't take it personal. You found your Barbie? I'm guessing you found it in your room, huh? It was in your room, in the toy box? Yes. Yes, it was, because mom put your toys back. Don't tell me to your whole toy. What is this doing here? No, that with the clothes. Put that back in the room. Y'all, this girl about to get it. She was good all fucking day. So you're only being good because Didi was here. Okay. I'm going to tell Didi she wants to stay. <laughs> I had a fucking migraine. Jesus. I just saw my spanky she ran with the stuff. But anyways, um, oh, I gotta cut up some vegetables. Ooh. 
but I can't think. Like Jessica, then after that, in college, well, my two best friends, that was my college friends. And we were, I mean, like, listen, me and my best friends, we were, we went everywhere together. Like, I used to go to their classes. People always saw me in fucking Nova. They're like, bitch, you don't even go to Nova. Yes, but my best friend do. So I'm going to her classes. Or I'm staying in her dorm. I sleep in her dorm all the time. But yeah. Oh, I, like, I'm over here supposed to be think, thinking of how many best friends I got. But I really don't. Like I said, like, I'm weird. I'm friendly, but I'm not friendly. Like, I got burnt too many times by people and their shadiness. So I don't let people get close to me. Like, after that one... Look at that. Clumsy, clumsy. After that incident I had with, with one of my, my own, my husband's friend, and she, she fucked it up for everybody else. Now her, I don't know why I'd be able to forgive her ass. <laughs> but then you know what it is? I'm more mad with myself than anybody else because everybody told me to um, watch out for her. Cause that's how she's always been so it is what it is but in that bitch all right nope i'm geechee don't need any, any friends i mean i don't mind you acquaintances people to talk to because you know i'm always friends. but anyways so i can't think of my best friends right now i gave up if y'all noticed i gave up i gave up because i like all the other friends i'm not saying my other best friends are, are fresh best friends, but they still like, you know, have loyalty like the people I've known for years. You feel me? Like Dee Dee, I've, yeah, Dee Dee's been seven years. Jessica been nine. Um, and after that, I think everybody else is like fresh. So like my, my bestie, I have another bestie. Her name is um, Brittany. We go, we go for it. Yeah, the princess house. It's broken though, mama. You broke it. I think you forgot. Yeah, you broke it. Anyways, my other bestie, Brittany. I love that bitch to death. We, we been through it. <laughs> like, I'm a type of person, like, if, if, if I can't go more than a month not talking to you, you're my best friend. <laughs> Basically. And I'm talking about me. Not about y'all. Me. If I can't go a month without talking to you, you're my best friend. So, Brittany is my best friend. Darrell. Let me talk about Darrell. I don't know if y'all, y'all, I've talked about her before. I don't know if I have a vlog with her. I don't know if I kept that vlog. Hmm. I probably did find a snap. I meet her. Yeah, baby clothes. Okay. Then what is it? What is it? Is the baby underwear? Oh, okay. Jarrell, that's my bitch right there. And funny thing is, like I said, I'm not doing this though shade. And it's not shade for nobody. And yeah, like I feel like if people get sensitive with this, it's no point. But she's the only girl. Jarrell's the only female friend that I've met through my husband that I didn't have an issue since day one. Me and Jarrell never had issues. Never. And listen, nothing against Tauruses. I It's hard for me to get along with Tauruses. It's very hard. And it's not because, oh, I can't deal with strong-minded people because I'm... Mind you, my household... Oh, one of my sisters is Taurus. My baby sister. But she's, she's, she's like Jarrell. Like, she's so fucking chilled. And you know, yeah, she's strong minded, but she's chill with it. You feel me? And Jarrell's the same way. She's strong minded, but chill with it. Like, she's not very, ugh. like, the bull in them is not really there. I'm not, it's not, I'm not saying it's not there, but it's not like so fucking aggressive. Like, how, oh shit, I just realized I gotta make my own fucking. Damn it! Oh well, I gotta make my own sauce, y'all. Forgot I'm cooking for karma. Karma likes homemade sauce. She really does. Like, don't don't try to cook my baby no um ragu sauce. 
Like make her some Alfredo with some ragu sauce. Come with. Ew. Like she was like, ew. My baby don't like it. I even tried to add seasoning in it. Still don't like it. So. That is good enough. More fat around here. Gotta do the whole box. Cause I don't think I'm gonna cook tomorrow. I probably save the fish. Make corquettes tomorrow. I, I have to wake up tomorrow. I have to. Like I don't can't keep living like this, not eating breakfast. So but yeah, my sister and Drell's the only Tauruses I've met that I could like, you know, I never had issues with. My mom was a Taurus. Love her to death, but we have to love each other from a distance. But like I was saying, I got sidetracked it. Jarrell's the only female friend from my husband that I've, I met through my husband that I've never had an issue with with him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my bitch right there. That's my bestie. Is our, our friendship is a little bit under under five years. Yeah, because I met her when I was pregnant with Karma in 2014. So yeah, I think I met her like right after her birthday. So, but that's my bitch right there. I love, I love Durrell. Like Durrell is one of those friends like I, I would go to jail for. Like, cause I'm a type of person like, there's different levels to my shit, you feel me? Why you gave me a dime? Give mommy monies? There's, there's different levels to my friendship, you feel me? And it's like, I'm cool with you and I, I, you know, give you advice and I talk to you and then there's, I'm cool with you and if I'm going through some shit, I'll let you know, you know, you know, what's going on. Not all of it, but I'll let you know what's going on. Then it's the, bitch, I'm going to tell you, every, bitch, bitch, let me tell you what happened. Bitch, let me tell you what he did. No, okay. Like, if, if, like, I know, I think I'm, I made a vlog about this. To know, to realize if I'm your, if you're my best friend or not, or if you're really a close friend of mine, when's the last time I told you about some shit about me and my husband? Just think. If I haven't, I'm sorry. But you still, you know, a friend. Don't take it personal. You know, this levels to this shit. I'm not saying get in my level. Yeah. That's for your other baby. I don't know where that baby at. It's probably in the toy box. Give oh. a little season of fucking chicken. Hold on, yeah, I'll be back. For karma, I have to make homemade Alfredo sauce or any type of sauce. Because baby don't like the sauce from the jaws. Spoiled. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to show you my plate. Listen, it's gone. It was so good. Oh, yeah, it's gone, girl. It was so good, y'all. Mm. Baby girl's in the bathtub. It's like probably like almost eight o'clock. Yeah, we, we do this in clockwork. This is how I do it by five. Bye. Y'all hear her trying to do my voiceover? By like 6.30, uh, we eat dinner. Dinner. 7. Dinner. You know, by the time she done eating dinner. By 7. Dinner. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn that thing. Mommy. It's like I'm saying. <laughs> That's our roommate. Um, so, yeah, so by 7.30, we're cleaning up. So by the time we're done with cleaning, with all her toys and everything, we take a bath by 7 15 7 30 depending how long it took to take a um to clean up oh excuse me and by yeah take a bath and by eight o'clock we get out you know lotion down hopefully lay down and watch you two kids and fall asleep what is girl got my victoria's secret can you take my um pendies off it's my oven.